Good morning, everyone, and welcome to breakfast stream. How y'all? How y'all doing today? Coffee. Y'all doing pretty good. Hey, Paul's here this morning. Morning, morning Paul. Paul. Hope everybody's doing good this Thursday morning. I gotta wear I gotta wear green shirts when I can. Cause half the time when we're streaming we have a green screen. So uh -huh. like when we're not, I have to be like, ah, I gotta get my green shirt wearing in now. Hmm. I'm doing pretty good this morning. Yeah. I feel like I I woke up in a bit of a, a haze. But um I've had like an astronomical, yeah. Turn. On. I think I have it set to like a button, so I can actually do that with a with a button. There's a there's a thing here labeled green screen background, and I'm like, what background is that? <laughs> oh yeah. We match. Well, I've I've got oh. foliage shirt. Got foliage behind me. I guess I don't know what's up with that. Bulbasaur's in the trees. <laughs> <laughs> Bulbasaur's really in the trees today. I like how you can also, if you're looking at like the game shelf, you can also see just some some little changes. Tiny, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Morning. Coffee hot. So in the past week, um, I have. I, I in in the same seven days I like missed out on sleep and got a ton of sleep. Yes. Because it was a week ago that um, Haley had Haley had surgery last Friday. So it's been just just about a week, and I had uh, basically not gotten any sleep that Thursday night. So a week ago I was, flew in late and yeah, I was delayed. I had had like ninety minutes of sleep, so. I have recovered from that by having two different days in that in this week where I slept like a lot. Uh-huh. Like 12 hours. And I didn't actually get 12 hours of sleep, but I was like in bed for 12 hours. So I don't know what it actually worked out to. I can't I can't be in bed that long without getting interrupted, you know, at some point by this. At some point Kepler's going to be like, "Hey, None of this sleep stuff. Um, but I would, like, get up and feed him and then and lay back down. Yeah, sleep dead is very real. It, it's one of those things that... Um, it's wild how much harder it gets... Uh, it, it is to deal with as you get older. Um, but I think I've managed now. I didn't wake up yesterday mm -hmm. until... Hi. Um, <laughs> What was it like? One thirty? I, don't I slept an astronomical amount of time yesterday, and like there was, I was up for a little bit in the early in the morning hours, but it was just it was there was a wild amount of sleep, um, and like it sounds that sounds like a lot, but my I think my phone said I got like ten hours. Still, but ten is a lot, so I'm feeling a lot better today. I'm like, okay, cool, 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 cool. I think I'm finally recovered from from last week, so good. <laughs> it's it it's it's hard to feel like a zombie, you know. So I'm 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 ready to to feel normal. Rebecca says Kepler looks sleepy himself. Are you sleepy? Are you sleepies? Are you sleepies? The answer is yes. We just want pets. Uh, let's read some alerts. We had a subscription from uh, Tristan. Welcome. Welcome. I can't, I, can't, I can't read the second part of this username on breakfast stream because it's a family-friendly show. <laughs> I can only read it only read it on Fridays. Uh, we got 13 months from Kirdelia, 48 months from Paper Spyro. Congrats on the four. We got 59 months from uh, Danny X6, 33 from J Lineback, 56 from Cosmic Sorrow, 49 from Tony 21250, 58 from Houghton Flash, 41 from Mr. Squidpus, 41 from Juliet. 27, 10 months from Haste the Day, uh, 86, 32 from Nomi Bookworm, 
Uh, 300 bits and full Milo Grizz says, sadly, I won't be able to stay for the stream today since my fiance and I will uh, will be going to GalaxyCon in Raleigh. Oh, yeah, GalaxyCon's going on. But I just wanted to send some bits as well as good vibes to anyone who may need it. Hope you all have a great day. Yeah, enjoy GalaxyCon. That was something that um, last year was happening. We were still in, in, in the throes of, like, moving and unpacking. Yeah. And, uh, because I remember, I remember actually doing a stream last year and having some people ask about it. Be like, are you going to be at GalaxyCon? I was like, ah, no, because I'm, I'm like unpacking a box. But also, for this year, I just completely forgot that it was, it was happening. So I hope, uh, I hope folks enjoy it. It's nice to have uh, local cons. Mm -hmm. uh, we got 35 months from Icon 18, 34 from Colton KP, 37 from Captain McKitty, and Gamer Girl Life gifted a sub to Mr. Josh Jepson. Good morning, Josh. All sorts of folks here. Chelsea's here, Josh is here. Kepler's here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. Would you look at that? Look at that. He's just so chill. Unless he wants you out of bed. Yeah, then. Or if he's hungry. The cat, I was I was telling Mal, so 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 Kepler does not ask Mal for food. Nope. It just doesn't happen. If you're gone, he will. If you're the only person if that he can ask. If I'm the only person ask, in the house. If you're the only person he can ask, then he will. But otherwise, does not ask Mal for food. Nope. And that is a travesty, because the boy really goes from zero to 60. Like, he'll be asleep next to me on his special helper chair in my office, and he'll be like, <sighs> and then he'll jump down and immediately be like, claw and leg? <laughs> and I'm like, like, there's no transition period. There's no, oh, you know, I'm starting to feel a little hungry. It's just like, I'm awake. We eat now? And Mal will never know the joys of trying to get something done and being like, can you give me like five minutes so this can start the export? Kepler, Kepler does not believe in that. The, 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 demand, the demands are sudden. Just... Like flipping a switch. Defeating a pocket watch isn't complete without Tiny Eddie's piping hot duck wafers. It sure isn't. Is this about Oberdin? I know when I defeat a pocket watch. When was the last time you defeated the pocket watch? It just wasn't complete without piping hot duck um, whatevers. Piping, piping hot duck whatevers. This is from the register 03119 or 19 who says, uh, good morning folks. I am now an uncle. Congratulations. What, what snack do I eat in celebration? Well, first off, congrats. Uh, second off, piping hot duck wafers. Mmm. This isn't the worst thing. No. When I, when I think of a wafer, I think of those uh, little desserts. <laughs> the ones that most people seem to not like. Because they feel like they're like a cheap... Are you talking about banana pudding? Like southern... No, 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 no. I'm, I'm talking about... Vanilla wafers? No, no. That's a, no that is a technically also a wafer. When I think of wafer, I think of the 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 long, uh, the rectangular ones that are layered with uh, cream. You know what I'm talking about? They're, wa they're wafer cookies. Oh, wafer cookies. Yeah, that's what I think of. Like oh. that, everyone has different things that come to mind if you use the word wafer. But those I are what see. I those are what I think. Yeah, the cardboard. Yeah, a lot of people, um, you know. You like cardboard. Now you know where my son gets. I was it gonna from. say like father like son. Yeah, some people don't like those. I like them. I like them. It's also if you want something sweet. What about? Like, and you want to spend one dollar. <laughs> You can get, like, a whole pack at Walmart for, like, a dollar. And that's fine. I'm not saying that they're my favorite dessert. I'm just saying that, you know, the, the price, the price to the performance. The price of cardboard is so cheap. It's really cheap. Yeah. Actually, me and Mal had a discussion about this the other day in um, the grocery store. Uh, we were at the grocery store. And One second. Paul, I hope you're doing better. Yeah. Good vibes to, uh, to Paul. Um, the, uh, we were at the grocery store and Chips uh -huh. Ahoy mm -hmm. was on sale. Yes. Because we, I, 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 I never want like a cookie. 
And we were at we were at the we were at the grocery store, and I was like, I want a cookie. And I was like, okay. So we went down the snack aisle. We went and and we were looking at the cookies, and the Chips Ahoy, whatever, like normal Chips Ahoy and the Chewy Chips Ahoy family packs were like on sale, half price, whatever. And I was like, oh, we should get one of these. And Mal was like. You can get one of these. She's like, I don't really want Give them. Me the bird. And I was like, okay. She's like, if I'm going to have a cookie and I'm going to spend the calories to have a cookie, mm -hmm. she's like, I would rather have a cookie from the bakery because those cookies are going to be better. And I was like, ah, but these cookies are half off. And she's like, but they're not going to be as good as a bakery cookie. And I'm like... Yeah. I'm like, okay, but it is sugar. So it was an interesting discussion because I don't think that either of us disagreed with the other person. It just really came down to... Noah, sometimes you can't put a price on happiness. It, I think it really came down to what, and what felt more important to each of us. Because mm -hmm. to me... Like saving whatever it was, a dollar or two. Like that was to me, that was more important. And I was like willing to have less quality to save like the dollar. And Mao was like, no, you know that like I would rather spend the dollar because if I'm going to eat a cookie and it's going to be the same amount of calories anyway, I'd rather have a better cookie. Yeah, it was an interesting like moment that. I could have, you know, if I would, if I had been asked about it, I would have been able to say like that's already how we felt. But to see it in action in the store was like, ah, we have to make a, a choice. So, you know, I didn't want to eat an entire pack of Chips Ahoy family pack by myself, which is what would have happened. Mm -hmm. um, so we bought the bakery ones because then Mal would, you know, because you still get a cookie. Because I still get a cookie. Mm -hmm. It means spending an extra dollar or two on cookies. But at least you'll help me eat cookies, and I won't eat the whole pack of cookies. Listen, we took cookies to Josh. We did. We did. I, I think Josh may have thought that those were like, that you made cookies. Oh, no, I didn't. Uh, but they weren't. No. They were from the store. And an egg. We also brought Josh an egg. We did bring Josh an egg. Um, and then we threw it on the floor outside of his room <laughs> and smashed it. Anyway... <laughs> I'll talk about that for anyone who <laughs> doesn't know the context. Give me a sec. We had uh, 600 bits from Danny X6. He says, well, my two-month vacation comes to an end. This is my last stream before I go to spend another six months working on a cruise ship. I will see you all in February. Danny, it's been good to have you, you back. hope you have a good time. And I, I sincerely hope that you enjoy your time again. I mean, mm -hmm. you must have, right? Yeah. You know, if, if you're if you're willing to to go on another... What's, what's, the, what's the word when you do an... Uh, it's not like a voyage. Like when you when you have a set amount, you have a set time for doing. Like, is it a tour? A tour. I think mm -hmm. a tour. Yeah. So if you're doing if you're doing or another term. tour. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So <laughs> the regularity of these streams has been the nicest part of vacation. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. We are nothing if not regular. I I particularly am very regular. Danny, I, I hope that you enjoy um, your your next cruise ship uh, tour. 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 We had 50 months from Sir Danny one and 39 months from Queer Quest. Thank you. So uh, yeah, let me tell you let me tell you a little about what happened oh, Tuesday night. Yeah, was that what? Was that, that was Tuesday was? night. <laughs> so um, for for those that don't know uh, don't know, Josh has been playing through Earthbound. Um, which has been great because uh, everyone else in Raleigh has played through Earthbound. Yeah. Um, half of us have uh, very close interpersonal relationships because of the game. So like, it means it means a lot to everyone. And we, you know, for quite a while, we've been like, Josh, you should play Earthbound. So Josh actually uh, started playing it. I think it was week four or yeah, something. Yeah, this was week four. And uh, so he 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 played it on Tuesday. Every time he's been playing it, like uh, we've been getting together with Alex and Haley, since they also love the game and Josh, and we've been just watching it together. So on Tuesday, we had the idea of like, what if we went over to Josh's... Well, chat has been peer pressuring Josh to buy eggs in the game. Yes. They, they've been 
it's been very humorous to yes. watch. Um, chat has been telling Josh that he should <laughs> continually buy eggs. Yeah. It is that funny. No, I just uh, inhaled while I was drinking. Um, like, Josh bought an egg in the game, and they were like, ah, but you need to buy more eggs. And Josh has never played this game, so Josh is like, I, I do? And they're like, yeah, you need to buy more eggs. So the, everyone in chat is like, you gotta buy, you have to buy a dozen eggs is what you need to. So like Josh is like spending tons of money to buy eggs, like trying to rearrange his inventory, trying to like get rid of things so he can buy more eggs, which is very funny uh, because if you know anything about Earthbound, you'll know that um, it's not a thing. Like there's nothing special that happens from doing this. Other than chat gets to uh, experience a jolly. Um, so while we were watching this, we had the idea of what if we took what if we took Josh an egg? Well, we were only going to take him cookies, and I was talking to Rebecca, and she's like, "Take him an egg." Yeah. So then I grabbed an egg out of the fridge. Yeah. So um, we 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 got some cookies and we got an egg, and we we went over to uh, the guy's house. And uh, we let ourselves in, we snuck upstairs, and we were outside of the door, and Mallory had the egg in her hand. And I said, give me the egg, because I'm going to walk inside and, and present it, like, on screen. Um, and uh, I, I, I went to have her give me the, um, the egg, and when she gave me the egg... We I don't. It. <laughs> I don't know who dropped the egg. I don't know if Mal did not place it in my hand or if I did not grab the egg. But collectively, <laughs> you smacked it out of my hand. Collectively, we dropped the egg. It's on video. I'll have to go. I'll go to the tape. I know. It's we'll going go to be on the, the vlog. I was filming at the time, yeah. and I'm like trying to get the egg, and then like the egg smashes onto <laughs> the carpeted floor outside of Josh's door, and. And like Mao and I are just cracking up. No we pun intended. We were outside of Josh's door for like a good three minutes dealing with. And like this. the whole time, like I see Josh in you there. You open the door because the door was open, and Josh doesn't see me. But like I'm looking at this, and I'm like, oh my god, there's just smashed egg on the floor. And it's us and Alex and Haley, and we're all trying not to laugh too loud. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, Chaz has uh, Chaz has got the the Twitch clip queued up in the art queue. So let me um, let me show it to you quick. Uh, we also had ten months from Belladonna Prince. Thank you. So let me um, let me mute this audio. Which is this? Audio? Let me pause this and play this. Oh my God! What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Welcome to the show. That is the second egg. This is this. What do you mean? This is the second egg. Whoever clipped that clipped it perfectly to end right there. Anyway, it was uh, it was great. It was great. Um, so when that vlog comes out, well, that was Tuesday, right? Yeah, that was Tuesday. So I'm still I'm still a little behind. But I'm I'm working on it. I actually got I got I got multiple vlogs done yesterday, which is an accomplishment considering I... that they are Wisconsin vlogs. So I have a vlog coming out today at 10:15, and um, I have another one done past that too. So we'll get we'll get there as quickly as I as I can. Yeah, Josh says I thought you sneaked the first egg onto my couch somehow. No, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't be like. There's an egg somewhere in your room, and if you step on it, that sucks for you. Yeah, we snuck it onto your car. <laughs> yeah, we cleaned up the egg, so the egg is... The egg was cleaned up. It was just funny, because what happened was, after me and Mal fumbled that egg... <laughs> after Mal and I fumbled that egg, 
Alex is standing there. Alex went downstairs, and I thought he was getting another egg. <laughs> and he came back up with, like, stuff to clean up the egg. And I scooped it up immediately. And when he, when he came up, I was like, bring me another egg! Because <laughs> I know they have eggs in their fridge. And he was like, I was like, go get another egg! <laughs> so he went downstairs and went into their fridge and got one of their eggs. <laughs> And then brought it to me, and I was like, thank you. I was like, we came all this way. We dropped an egg. We have to at least give him the egg. We can't just close the door and be like, never mind. Anyway, it was, it was, uh, that was a fun. It was fun. It was a fun moment. It's fun to do, um, impromptu stupid things like that. I enjoyed it. We five hundred bits Bishaya says, how do you want your eggs? Extra aged. Extra aged meaning? Bird. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Fully developed egg. We had eggs last night. <laughs> Rebecca says, can't wait for next stream where you bring him a chicken. So, question. This is related to this and Josh playing Earthbound. Did he steal an egg? Mm -mm. Josh, you don't know this because, and you can't go back now, but in Happy, Happy Village, you can steal an egg from the farm stand and then if you go talk to the guy, he fights you for it because you stole. Yeah, so th it's I, one of my little tiny like favorite parts of Earthbound, and you didn't do it. I and mean, I was in Wisconsin that week, so yeah, Josh can't possibly do all the things. I but, know, but yeah, there's a farm, there's a there's an egg stand in Happy Happy Village that's basically just like just leave the money. Yeah, and then there's a guy that's behind the bush that's just watching for people to pay. Yeah, um, yeah, so. I don't think uh, I don't think Josh ended up using that um, stand, but it's possible to to just take the egg. There's a lot of little um, like little details in in Earthbound which are are fun, and definitely things that you know you don't Coffee. discover your first playthrough. Oh, Chaz, that's why. Oh, Chaz says I figured out why the chicken didn't do what I expected. It only does the thing outside of battle. I changed it to happen in battle in the rando, so I crossed my wires. Oh. Also, Chaz, <laughs> how wild is it that you've, you've, you know, poked around inside of Earthbound so much and you have changed parts of Earthbound that now your brain <laughs> thinks that that's what Earthbound is? No one's ever been gaslit. <laughs> like, that's... So, during the stream, Chaz had told Josh to use the chicken in battle, thinking it would do what Chaz flipped the randomizer to, yeah. and it didn't. So Chaz called us and was like, why didn't that do what I thought it would do? You probably need to back up a little bit further than that. For those who are not aware, <laughs> um, Chaz keep, uh, keeps up with the development of uh, Earthbound Randomizer. Um, it's earthbound.app, if you go to a browser. And uh, Chaz has done that for like years. Um, and, uh, it's very, very cool. It allows you to experience Earthbound in a completely new way. Um, you know, because randomizers are, randomizers are fun, they're all the rage, people do them with Zelda and, and Mario and stuff and all that, but the, but Chaz is the one that runs the one for Earthbound. There's some custom sprites, Haley made one of Leica. So. Yeah, there's a bunch of custom sprites, so you, mm -hmm. even if you wanted to just play Earthbound, but you wanted to, like mess with it a little bit like you're like ah i want custom sprites in earthbound but i want mm -hmm. the experience to be the same like the, you can do all of that on the website so it's really really neat but yeah Chaz is, has changed some stuff for the randomizer and has been working on the randomizer for so many years that <laughs> he did he called us during the stream because he was like why didn't the thing happen i was like Chaz, i don't know and if anyone on this earth would know it would be you and he's like i know but i gotta figure it out and i'm like i don't know and then i love that it's just like wait it never worked like that <laughs> it's the randomizer it's the thing that i've been working on for years i'm like i can't help you <sighs> yeah you can play earthbound as the golden girls chess says so anyway now you gotta grow a chicken and use it outside of battle josh i think he did he did he did that was on, like, stream two. Yeah, he. I think he used a, ch uh, a full-size chicken, like, while he was in the department store. Mm-hmm. It's just that we were expecting that message to play in a battle. Anyway, I hope that this conversation um, 
inspires folks to play Earthbound, perhaps, if they haven't. It really is a wonderful game. Um, there, there are some things that are a little obtuse, perhaps, uh, but there is, if you get stuck, there's an in-game hint system, mm -hmm. which is usually pretty good. And then on top of that, there's a million guides online. So like, it's worth playing. It's it's a fun game. It's a very unique experience. We get 34 months from Starry Phoenix. Uh, 300 bits from Belladonna Prince. It says, can I get some good vibes? I work at a Kroger Deli, and the president of the company is coming today. I was asked to come in. Uh, good vibes. Good vibes. Good vibes. It's interesting to uh, get a chance to meet the the president. The head of Kroger. Yeah. Kroger's a Mr. Kroger. huge company. Yeah, I don't know if it's Mr. Kroger. I'm just like... When I worked at Culver's, I was gone the week Craig Culver came to my Culver's. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And when I taught, they never picked art classrooms for the um, superintendent to come visit. They only visited, like, English, math, science. Uh, that's because, to them, they're picking the stuff <gasps> that matters. Yeah, they sure are. You know, like football. Yeah. We're very pro art here. Very pro art, very pro creativity. We're not necessarily anti sports. We just feel like there should be a more even playing field. That's why it should be steam, not stem. Enjoy the forehead watering goodness of Tiny Eddie's gooey floral cheddar slices. I'd like. Are they spicy and they yeah, make you sweat? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. They're, they're, they're hot. A thousand bits from Aaron the Baron. It says, after around a month of getting in my own head before doing it, today is going to be the day oh. I propose to my girlfriend. Eddie, do you have a snack to help calm my nerves and mine? Well, first off, congrats. Good vibes. Um, I, I guess forehead watering is almost apt a little bit. You get a little nervous. You get a little, you're like, <sighs> but you got this. Gooey also, floral cheddar slices sounds like a bouquet that you've made roses out of slices of cheese, but it's gotten hot. Also, girls love cheese. <laughs> girls just... If you want to fascinate a girl, give wanna... her a piece of cheese. That's true. Uh-huh. That's just... That's science. Maybe that's just Wisconsin girls. <laughs> M. Scani girls. I tell you one thing. M. Scani girls, they love cheese. You just go down to Woodman's you know, and go down to you the know, Woodman's. there's so many to choose there's, from. Uh, there's several hundred cheeses down there. <laughs> I want cheese flowers. <laughs> I'm going to give the Wisconsin girls in my life cheese bouquets. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Well, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to... I gotta you just said you were going to Well, I, I, I'm not going to... I can't make them. That's real hard. But I'll, I'll, like, find someone who sells them. Good luck. Coffee. I can't just, like, make it. That seems really hard to do. Uh, maybe it's not like super hard to do. It, what if it was? What if it was just a flower? It's not a bouquet. It's like a. It's a flower. It's floral cheddar slices, right? Can you just buy cheese instead, please? I like cheese. Brandon did live in Wisconsin for some time. Does he get cheese? <laughs> Sorry, Haley said cheese tease. <laughs> I'm such a cheese tease. I know. I'm sorry. I'll I'll I'll, I'll try and make a I'll try and make like a flower out of cheese. Okay. Hold me to it. I'll get to it. I don't know when I'll get to it. <laughs> anyway, uh, good luck on on your on your proposal. I hope everything goes uh, exactly as as you'd like. Wishing you luck. We got 22 months from Sammy Weiss. Uh, 300 bits from Satsi, it says, Speaking of art, your Pikmin 4 for Gothics reminds me of Benamaro Ito art. Was that intentional? No. <laughs> no, but, um... But I'm, oh, but I'm okay with that connection being made. <laughs> Pikmin 4's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. I've been enjoying it. We, for, for those that didn't know, we played it on, on Tuesday, because we're doing Tuesday afternoon... Pikmin now, and um, it was enjoyable. It was very enjoyable. It's fun. It's mm -hmm. a game. The game's fun. The game's fun. It's going to take us a little bit to get through. Mm -hmm. 
we didn't kill any Pikmin because um, because that's impossible because uh -huh. Pikmin can't die. Uh huh. Um, they just go to their new home they at just the bottom go, of the ocean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I went back and watched the tape, by the way. Oh yeah. Because there's there's I, I won't spoil it for folks that haven't seen it, but there there's a moment, there's a moment in uh in in the stream that we did on Tuesday where you know several Pikmin like twenty decided to have like an aquatic vacation. <laughs> And I went back to the tape to find out in a, yeah, in a Pikmin forum state. So I went back to the tape to like figure out whose fault that was. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna tell you, I really don't think you can blame me for that one. I really don't. I really don't. Like I, I, I shouldn't say anymore. I don't want to spoil what happened. But like, I went back and I watched it, and I was like, I think that that one's on on you. Mm -hmm. You you made an assumption about the environment. Mm -hmm. You made an assumption about how much I had done for you. You thought I had done all of it. I had done this much, and you were just like, well. And I didn't stop you. But like, you know, I can't. I'm not. I'm not steering the dog. You steered the dog. Anyway. It's fine. Is everyone feeling nice and sleepy from Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? <laughs> I, I maybe I, I I enabled it, but I didn't cause it. I could probably uncheck Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I'm pretty sure every time it's ever come up on on stream. No, it's a team fumble, like the egg. <laughs> it really was. Uh, that is true. All right, there. I <laughs> John turned those off. <laughs> yeah, it was um. Good morning, John. Good morning. It was a it was a unique. It was a unique moment. Well, it's. I hope it's not unique. <laughs> I hope that there are many more times in Pikmin Four where this exact scenario happens, where we just are like, "Oops." <laughs> And they're all like, I mean, we're you drowning. were throwing bombs and not warning me. That's not what, that's not what we're talking about. I know. That's not, I know. I killed very few with the bombs. Like three. It could have been more. It could have been, but it wasn't. It, yeah, if the, I wasn't paying attention. The person that killed like 20 was not me. I'm not the guy. I killed like three. Mal killed like 20. I mean, maybe it was a it was a bit of a team effort. Anyway, <laughs> the episode will come out, mm -hmm. and y'all can make your own yeah. decisions uh -huh. about it. Report back. You can report back. Either it will be it won't be out for a while. Yeah, it's, we're well, already getting ahead. It's interesting because for the longest time we were doing Zelda and just Zelda. Mm -hmm. So like, we weren't making enough Zelda on Fridays to go throughout the entire week so we added some other stuff like you know Hades or whatever but now that we're doing Zelda and Pikmin we will start getting ahead so <laughs> it's my favorite part of Art of War who is to blame for all the corpses I'm just saying currently right now <laughs> like 5% 95% it's like maybe 1090 Paul says if there were several Pikmin on a remain track. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> Again, it doesn't matter. Listen, they go to a farm at the bottom no of the ocean. No Pikmin are dead. <laughs> yeah. They don't die. Well-known Pikmin fact. They yep. they just go somewhere else. Yep. And that's what they did. They just went, they went. They retire they, from. They, they retire. Yeah, they retire. They retire. Mm -hmm. Some of them retire real early. Some of them, like, they just sprouted and they don't get to work very long. And that's just because their retirement comes fast. Mm -hmm. They retire from life. <laughs> Cheese Hammer gifted a sub to Cheese Flowers. Give, give, give the special woman in your life a Cheese Flower. What's the stem made out of if the, if the petals are cheese? A pretzel. A pretzel rod. It's so good. See, if you take sliced cheese and like cut out the shape of a petal, you could like make a rose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, that's that's doable. That's doable. That sounds like that. Now that's a stream. Yeah, I was gonna say next time I'll make stream for out. Speaking of, I should probably let you know tonight. Tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, uh, Mal and I will be back in the uh, tabletop streaming room for Mal Make Stream. We are going to be painting the um, Sculpey. the the Sculpey figures that we did two weeks back. Mm -hmm. That's tonight. I'm so glad that uh, Kirby gets some color today. Uh huh. It's gonna be great. Because a lot of people are like, is that Kirby? That doesn't look like Kirby. And I'm like, ah, it's because Kirby's not pink yet. He's gray. Uh, he's gray. So tonight, I'll make per, uh, Kirby pink. Mm -hmm. And then you'll understand that that's Kirby. Yes. So, um, yeah, to, uh, be on the lookout for that. That's at 7 p.m. Eastern tonight. I don't know how long it'll take to paint Kirby. <laughs> no more than like an hour. Yeah. I've always struggled with them. Um, Mixing colors. Yeah, like... I figured, because my figurines are um, basically black and white, that it would mostly be me making colors for you. If you want. Yeah. I can do it. <laughs> Paul said, when we did our Sweden vacation, we saw some guy who was trying very hard to be noticed eating a charcuterie tray on the steps of the Nobel Prize Museum. <laughs> So cultured. Uh, we have 39 months from Molad. Three and a bits from Omega. The kid says, I feel in situations like these, you need to consider something my dad and I have talked about quite a bit. Blame and fault have nothing to do with each other. We blame you. <laughs> whose fault it was, who's to blame. I'm just happy to play Pikmin. Yeah. Personally. I am too. I'm just happy to... I'm happy that after 10 years, there's a new Pikmin game, and uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it. All of the Pikmin games have honestly been pretty different in terms of the way in which we have approached them. Like, yes. Pikmin 1 you, is a single player, mm -hmm. so we're swapping off on that. Pikmin 2, we got a chance to play it together. Pikmin 3, because we waited until the deluxe version, also was cooperative mm -hmm. and a pretty different experience. And then this one, uh, second player is a gun. Yeah. Just give him a gun. Just a gun. Just give him a... And I wasn't really sure how to feel about the gun. And now I'm like, no, I think I'm... Mm -hmm. I think I'm on board with, with, with this. I thought it was going to make the game too easy. And, uh, I, you know, it, it has the possibility of trivialize, trivializing, like, some parts. But honestly... Overall, I don't think that it's massively changing the the it difficulty does of the chaos. game. It creates chaos, and that is fun. So, mm -hmm. it also allows me the ability to just throw bombs. Uh huh. Yep. I like that. I like that. Yeah, it won't. It won't. Yeah. Intelligent one says, from what I've seen, it, it won't negatively affect the game. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that there will be, like, some purists that are like, you know, this mm -hmm. makes the game... But, like, you know, it, it in my opinion, it, it's make, it, it helps make our playthrough unique, since most people aren't playing the game with two people. So, I think it's it ends up being a fun thing. <laughs> bomb safety. Give Steven a bomb, he'll throw it. I did tell... I was letting you know when I did it. As you did it? Yeah. And a little I, late. I'm learning now that what you really wanted was like a... A coordination here between... You like, wanted to know ahead of let time. Let me protect the Pikmin, you throw the bomb. Okay, bomb's done, I can go back in. You want me to say, I'm going to throw a bomb, as opposed to, I threw a bomb react to this instead of <laughs> proactively yeah. doing stuff. Yeah. Fra frag out! Listen, I just, I figured it'd probably be alright. We also had to learn, you know, because like, I, I wasn't sure at the beginning if my bombs would even hurt him. Because who am I? I'm just like some floating entity that can chuck that, rocks. That, that, yeah, that can throw rocks. Like, you know, who am I? I don't know. I might not even be able to hurt him. 
and then uh, <laughs> turns out I can. The the my favorite moment was whenever the Pikmin became a little frozen popsicle, but like it wasn't an enemy that did it. It was me. <laughs> Seat for it, and then they're like, Oh no, the pigment's a little frozen popsicle. And I was like, I did that. <laughs> they just gave me a little too much power. This is sounding more like player versus player than co op. I mean, when you did the um, Dendori <laughs> battle, yeah, you can put the reticule on the CPU screen. Mm -hmm. And I was seeing if I would hurt them or slow them or any. Yeah. I killed some enemies for them so they could take them back to their base. Whose side is Mel on? I mean, I can be reckless, but at least I'm trying to help us. I've never claimed to not be reckless. I'm extremely reckless when Listen, it comes to games. Listen, I was trying to but... see if I was helping or hurting. And it turns out... Uh, it, it was, it, it was, just makes sense. it was not assisting. I like how y you thought briefly, I've got this gun. I wonder if this gun, when applied to an, to, to the enemy, will like, make them buffer. <laughs> the gun will stop being a gun on this side of the screen. <laughs> it's fine. We've been doing well. Yeah. We've been doing well. Um, you know. Valerie with the steel chair. We do well. It's fine. Um, anyway, that that will continue to be on Tuesdays at 1 p.m. Eastern, and we're we're looking forward to it. It also it also helps because then it doesn't mm -hmm. limit the amount of time that we have for either Pikmin or Zelda. We can give them both our yeah. attention, which I think is is necessary. We were so worried. We were talking to Chaz about what to do. You know, because when Pikmin was coming out, we knew we wanted to play Pikmin. We're like, well, we can't split the time. Mm -hmm. We'll never get through we'll Zelda. We'll never beat Zelda. <laughs> Zelda's already... We're going to be 40 years old before we beat Zelda. We wanted to be 40 and not 50, so, like, um, you know, we, we wanted to make sure that we could keep getting through. Zelda's so long. So... It's such a big game. We'll get through that. Longest LP world record. I don't know. Starfield's not out yet. Anyway, you want to tell them about the focaccia you made? I made focaccia. <laughs> oh, you want more? <laughs> oh, God. Ooh. Ooh. Chest popped. So we have a lot of tomatoes. I planted six tomato plants, forgetting how large they get because they're all indeterminate tomatoes. No, it says I heard that one. Ooh. All right, I'm better now. All right. Okay. Yeah. So uh, four of those tomato plants are cherry tomatoes, and we have so many cherry tomatoes, and I was trying to think of what to do. Yeah. I also, um, it's my turn to give the neighbors food, so I have to figure out something I can do. And I'm not sure exactly what their dietary restrictions are. I know they probably are halal. So I'm like, what can I do? What can I do? And I was like, oh, I could make focaccia, and I could throw in all these tomatoes. I could do a bunch of things. Yeah. And, um... So I made some to test it because I've never made it, and it turned out beautifully. It was it, it was it very was, good. It was both beautiful and also very very. It was delicious. very good. Let me send a photo to the mod chat. Yeah, it was very good. And then uh, Dan stopped by. Yeah. And uh, when Dan stopped by, he got a chance to try focaccia, and he said he has never tried focaccia. And I was like, Dan, you're Italian. You're legally obligated to try this bread. He tried it and he was like, this is great. And I was it was like, very good. Anyway, so I need to mix up some dough today and make more. Yeah, we have a little and that's, sliver. Uh, gosh, what is that? 12 by 9 pan? I forget. It's so a smaller the, pan. We, we left a sliver on the left to have like some no, without the yeah. toppings so we could try without it. Um, it's real good. It's, it's, it's real good. Um, yeah, Dan typically doesn't like to make... So, uh, we, we, we talked more more to Dan about yeah. how he feels about tomatoes. And um, I think he even doesn't understand himself, to be honest, because he was like, 
tomato is fine on like bruschetta. Mm -hmm. And I was like, like if you do a little like chopped up tomato salad on bruschetta, Dan likes it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't like tomato on its own, and I, I think that's like possibly some sort of texture thing, maybe. And like he doesn't at, really like it on a sandwich either. Well, that's the thing that that's the part that's a little confusing to mm -hmm. me. Because he likes it on bruschetta, but he won't. He doesn't want it on like a sandwich, so like for mm -hmm. a burger. So I'm like, to me, that feels very similar. I guess I understand that like bruschetta is typically like a hard bread. I don't know if maybe the the hard and the soft of the tomato like works in a way that Dan likes, but on a sandwich where it's more. I made him eat one of the sun golds when he was over. Yeah. I was like, Dan, I just because this is one of my favorite tomatoes. Curiosity, and he ate it, and he's like. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's nice they tried it, but yeah. Um, yeah, it might, maybe it's just a very over, because it's true. Mm -hmm. I have had sandwiches, like uh, like burgers before, where I'm like, oh, I really taste tomato. So, like, I get it. Mm -hmm. I get it. Ah, yeah. Paul says, that's me with tomatoes, too. Raw tomatoes don't love it. Cooked or mixed into something or salsa, totally fine. I, uh, I, when I was growing up, I didn't like tomatoes at all, and, um, at some point I did, and I don't know when that happened. It was probably, um, the Great Taste Revival you had in high school. Oh, yeah, I did go through a Great Taste Revival, mm -hmm. where suddenly I, my, I, it was like a, it was like a switch in my mind, because I grew up, like, very picky, and I didn't eat anything, and if I was going to have... A sandwich or anything like that. I, like I had like no toppings on it, and then at some point there was a switch that flipped in my head where I was just willing to like try everything. I'm glad that happened before <clears throat> you went to France and England. Yeah, I mean, well, it happened as part of the trip. I oh, think. Oh, okay. It was. It was, that was part of it. Was like, it was the realization of like, oh, I'm going to go out of the country for the first time, and I'm going to be exposed to foods and experiences and culture that I haven't experienced, and like, I should try these things. And then I did, um, and that was, I was 18, and like for the first 18 years of my life, I just didn't. Yeah. And then suddenly I was like, oh, I'll just try everything now. And I, I, I continue to do I that. I can't think of, there's, there's not many you don't like. Like you things. don't like, <clears throat> you don't like whipped cream. Yeah, but also I'm to the point now where like I will do it. Mm. Um, I'll scrape it off. Because I still don't love, I don't love, that. that's a texture thing for me. I don't really love whipped cream or Cool Whip. But if it's touching stuff, I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm just going to scrape it off a little bit. I don't like milk too much. Milk's okay. You don't like cereal to get soggy. I don't like cereal to yeah. get soggy. Um, I'm not a fan of that. I do like, I, I will have milk sometimes with like a brownie. That's the only time I ever want milk. I don't even want milk, but if it if I'm presented with a glass of milk at any time in my life, I'll be like, no. No, what's wrong with you? Who would just drink milk? Who would just take milk and just drink it? What a wild concept. But if I have like a brownie and a milk, a glass of milk is presented to me, I would I would do I would do it then. And that's it. That's the only time. Maybe it was like a donut. But even then, I'm like, eh. I do like chocolate milk. Actually, ooh. You were in Wisconsin. And I was a little... I was, I, I was almost naughty. I went to the grocery store. Uh-huh. And I, I, when I'm, when I'm alone in the grocery store, I'm in and out of the grocery store in like two minutes. Like, I know exactly what I need. I just... And I was on, I was, I was getting my stuff, and I walked past the milk section, mm -hmm. and I, I stopped. Like I was, because I'm like, I'm like, if someone's in my way, like it's Stephen, almost naughty. I was like moving quick, and I came to a complete stop in front of the milk section, and I looked at the chocolate milk, and I had this moment of like, I could get chocolate milk. I could do that. Just like, just a little one. Not like a full, not like half a, gallon. yeah, not like a half gallon. I'm not, no one's being crazy here. But like, just a little one. Just to taste it. 
So go home and sit in the sunroom and drink drink a chocolate milk. And and I didn't. I ended up not doing it. But I I I physically I stopped in the grocery store and looked and thought about it. Day drinking chocolate. <laughs> As a treat. Here's my problem. My problem was that um, I, we had went we had went and eaten with uh, me and me and Josh and Dan went to eat, uh, and we went to a breakfast place, mm -hmm. and uh, me and me and Josh I think got coffee, and uh, Dan asked the servers like, "You have chocolate milk?" And they're like, "Yeah." So Dan got the chocolate milk, and I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm watching him drink this chocolate milk, and I'm like, <gasps> I like chocolate milk. But like I'm too proud to then to then ask the server be like actually actually I want chocolate milk. <laughs> so instead like like a like a sad adult I just sat there and drank black coffee. <laughs> I'm just like <sighs> Meanwhile Dan enjoying childhood gets to drink <laughs> chocolate milk. So I had that memory in my head and I and when I was in the the grocery store I walked past the milk and then I was like, "Oh god." <laughs> no, it says we can drink chocolate milk when I was. <sighs> Josh says if you both got chocolate milk, I definitely would have gotten chocolate milk. <laughs> All right, Josh, we're forming a pact. Brandon, you're in on this too. The next time we go to a breakfast place as a group, we're all getting chocolate milk. I just want to see the look on the server's face. <laughs> Brandon, no, Brandon, come back, Brandon. You won't be out of town, Brandon. Brandon, I bet they'll, I bet you anything they'll do chocolate milk at the Golden Corral. It'll be night at the Golden Corral. And I'll be like, this one wants a chocolate milk. It's his birthday. It'll be, that's great. That's great. Oh, I'm so excited. Chocolate milk fountain. I can't say what I want right now. There are kids here. We are Susan and Susan wants chocolate milk. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my God. Sorry, I have to scroll up. I think Brandon's about to become a flight risk. <sighs> Paul, that's the deepest cut the deepest cut. He's never coming back to Raleigh. Oh. Anyway. I say all of that to say this. If if you want chocolate milk, get yourself some chocolate milk. Don't be like me. Don't 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 sit there and covet thy neighbor's chocolate milk. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, I remember that. That's the part of the Bible. <laughs> Don't covet thy neighbor's chocolate milk. Don't don't go into the store and then just stare after like when I move, when I'm really moving, it's frightening. People get the hell out of my way. I'm going through the the thing. I've got the little basket. You're six and I, a half feet tall. I'm just like boo, 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 boo. like I'm going. I'm because I want to get in and get out. I want to get home and get back to work. That's how I feel about being at the grocery store by myself. Don't be like me and just do that and then just come to a complete standstill and be like. Milk. <laughs> the lady that's watched me clear the entire length of the store in five four, steps. four or five steps is now like, oh god, the cryptid has stopped. <laughs> that means he's 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 hungry for food. I need to hide behind the donut display. Why is Steven the tallest friend simply not eat? You know, like I'm just like <sighs> and then my brain has to process that of like, do I wanna do this? And then I decided not to. I was so good. I was so good. I just wish I would have been a little naughty that day. I wish I would have been like, I can get a little one. I can get a little one for me. Yeah, like, this is why I live in fear. At any point, I could become hungry. And everyone should be afraid. Everyone should be afraid. We made food the other night, and, uh, you know, there was some leftovers, and I finished it. As I often do. Just make sure I get a little in the tum tum. Sorry, I just have to do something quick. <laughs> Any list? Grocery list? Chunky. 
<laughs> I didn't write chalky milk. <laughs> I didn't, I'm an adult, Mallory, and I wrote chocolate milk. <laughs> I did not write chalky milk. Ch Josh, when you, next time you bring me egg and cookies, I would like to request <laughs> chocolate milk. Paul, so that's why we shop at Costco to make sure we can feed you. <laughs> Okay, I'm updating the pact. Mm -hmm. I'm updating the pact. The next <laughs> he time he didn't agree to the first one. It's fine. Jo Josh is already there, oh, yeah. and we Josh and we board. know Dan will do chocolate oh, yeah. milk. The next time we're there, we, we'll me, me and Josh and Dan, and hopefully Brandon. <laughs> these these are our pact negotiations. Next time we're there, the server asks what what we want to drink. We all go <laughs> chalky milk. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, and we go. Haley <laughs> says, No, no, you will not. <laughs> Woo. You won't be able to go back to the restaurant. Oh, God. Oh, man. <laughs> I haven't had chocolate milk in a restaurant in so long. In so long. And now I'm, I put it on the list, so I'll get it. It happens if it's on the list. Where was I? Oh, God. I'm doing okay. I'm on board despite my body's aversion <laughs> to dairy. Bra or, uh, uh, Josh, we'll just bring a Black tablet. Shade. We just can... You, you can just keep one in your pocket. You can just do that. You can just hold them. <laughs> they might have them at the restaurant. No. I guess the restaurant can't just give you pills. <laughs> I'll have a number six. And do you have any pills? <laughs> do you have any, like, just stray pills laying around? <laughs> 300 Bits from Slick Duke says, You know, I'm a bit disappointed I didn't visit the International Cryptozoology Museum in Portland, Maine on my muse on my on, on my museum, on my <laughs> vacation, to see if I saw anything resembling Stephen. I'm probably in there. I'm probably, You're in, probably there. in there. I'm probably in that museum. Christ, what? Sorry, we have to read this. Chelsea says, when you guys worked in restaurants, did you have chalky milk on tap or did you have to make it yourself? Because I have trauma having to make 15 chocolate milks one night. Oh my god. Um. We had, I think... I First off, I don't think that we had chocolate milk at all because we worked at Carabas. No. No, there was no chocolate milk. We did if have we, milk. If we had it, it would have been like I think the little child containers. Brandon says I had to make it. I feel like we maybe had milk, but we did not have chocolate at Carabas. At Culver's we would make it if it, like it was kind of like a secret thing I feel like. <laughs> secret menu item. We chocolate had milk. we had milk for like the kids meal, but I feel like we if someone requested it, we would make it because we had syrup, of course. Mm. Paul says we had it on tap in college cafeteria. Yeah, we did in Wisconsin too. It was chocolate, skim, 1%, 2%. Oh, Chelsea says, I worked in a seafood restaurant, but we had milk. Sorry, sorry, I have, I have, uh, I have really big problems with someone going to a seafood restaurant and going, what will pair well with the shrimp? <laughs> Chocolate There's milk. There's some children who only drink chocolate milk, though. Oh, okay. I, I for, sorry, I forget children exist. <laughs> <laughs> I, I very regular, very regularly forget children exist and are real. Um, how? It's it's very easy. It's very easy to forget children. Oh, these were adults. Oh no. <laughs> like I I I. I don't have. I, I will send you mine. I will take yours, Renee. I like. I. I don't have a problem as an adult ordering chocolate milk at a restaurant, because I feel like you should be able to order whatever you want. However, it makes more sense to me to have it at breakfast time because it's a breakfast thing. 
These are the people you want to be, Steven. No, it's different, Brandon. It's not the same. It's not seafood, it's breakfast. It's breakfast. You can have chocolate milk at breakfast. Every once in a while, it's a little treat. You don't go to the, the, the seafood buffet and get a chocolate. That's wild. That's such a wild thing. Oh my God. Thank you, Shadowlands. There's a big difference between ordering chocolate milk at the diner and a seafood place. It is completely different. What a wild, what a wild thing. I mean, maybe, maybe I'm missing out. Maybe those people at, at Chelsea's restaurant knew something I don't know. Maybe there is not, there's not a taste combination on earth that can match like shrimp and chocolate milk. Maybe this is something that in my brain, I'm like, this won't work. And in actuality, it's like, this is perfect. Just dunk them like Oreos. I don't know. I don't know. Shana says, you haven't lived until you had chocolate milk at 3 a.m. Oh, I've been to a Waffle House. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's an experience that we share. Are we talking shrill? <laughs> hey, y'all down to a shrill? Oh, God. Man. Man. I'm learning a lot about y'all today. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I learned a problem. I went off this train. <laughs> Adding shrimp to auto mod band words list. <laughs> Woo! Thank you for running the Patreon ticker. Um, I was <laughs> laughing too hard. <laughs> we had 300 bits from Will Peters who says, So does the cult make their sacrifices to you? No, uh, to Alex. When we all moved here, we agreed that every month we would take turns being cult leader. And Alex said he wanted to be cult leader first. And then he never gave the scepter to yeah. anyone else. So yeah. I think he has held canonically, the Alex is still cult leader. Yeah, I don't know if he's ever... Yeah, Father Jim Alex Binion. I, I don't know if... um, I don't know if he's going to give the scepter up soon. I hope he does. He is daddy. Sacrifices for daddy. <laughs> Yeah, at some point, I think maybe someone else will get a turn. I feel like Brandon would make way too many wild changes. <laughs> He's already upset about chocolate milk. <laughs> He'd be like, first off, no chocolate milk. And I'd be like, whoa. <laughs> we, we need to have a revolt. He's already in charge of the money. Yeah, you can't, you can't, <laughs> you can't take our milk privileges away. <laughs> Sorry that you think not drinking chocolate milk is a wild change. <laughs> Mom said it's my turn to lead the cult. <laughs> Brandon, do you... Brandon, I just... This is a real question. Do you just not like chocolate milk? <laughs> is that is that a thing? Or do you just you just feel like the times in your life that are, that are open to drinking chocolate milk have mostly passed? <laughs> of course I... Oh no! <laughs> What part? The <laughs> chocolate or the milk? <laughs> yeah, I agree. What do you mean, of course? What, of course? Why is it such an of course? I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I'm not a big fan of milk, but like, I'll, I'll put some chocolate milk down. <laughs> Man, you know who else is a, a fan of chocolate milk? That also would order it at the restaurant occasionally? Uh, Will. Mm. We go to a restaurant and we'll be like, bring me a chocolate milk. <laughs> Why don't you keep your chocolate milk and I'll just drink granulated sugar. That's what it tastes like. That's not even true. Put some Kahlua in it. I feel absolutely disgusting after drinking. Man, I I am sorry that you feel that way. Uh, this conversation is making me want chocolate milk more. I I honestly, the person the, the the person that wins 
today is you. I was going to say is like wh whoever is the, the head of the chocolate milk corporation in America. Because we, we today alone, we sold so many chocolate milks. So many people today at the grocery store are going to be like, yeah, I'll pick up a pint of chocolate milk. <laughs> it's been a while. <sighs> I'm going to get some. I just, I just want a little bit. I don't want to taste it. <laughs> Big chocolate milk. Uh... Cheese hammer gifted us up to shrimp cheese one two three. Uh, I don't want shrimp cheese. Uh, three different from Aldo says it's okay, Steven. Children aren't real. They're just a myth, like dead Pikmin or R O U S. The problem, the pr my problem with um with 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 seeing children and, and understanding that children are real is that like I would have to be around. Mm -hmm. where the children are yes and i'm just that doesn't happen like if i go to the store <laughs> they're too short <laughs> <laughs> where are they uh if i if i go i mean i guess it's summer we should probably see children sometimes it's summer right so like they should be at the store it's hot i don't know like the neighborhood kids i, I haven't don't seen ever them see kids yeah I don't ever see kids. No. I'm not out at the time where like a school bus happens. I'm not out where the like if I go to a store, I'm not at a store very long, but also I don't ever see children there. It's very, very like rare for me to ever see like a kid somewhere that we go. But I guess we're not going yeah. to like to we're not really... Toys R Us. Yeah. We went to Toys R Us. They might be there, but they're not generally at like the grocery store. Man, I was at, when we were at the grocery store the other day, I saw, there's a little, they have a little basket. And it's like, this fruit is free for children. You've never seen that? No. Okay. And it was full. Because there weren't no children! Where are they? I don't know where they are. Anyway, I'm like, <laughs> where was I? Galactic Baron gifted a sub to Chocolate Milk Connoisseur. Mmm. I would like to try lots of chocolate milks. Did you take some? I couldn't. First off, I'm not, I'm famously not a chocolate, well, depending on who you ask. <laughs> but I famously don't fit like the height description of a child. I was not with anyone else. <laughs> so if I would have been eating like an apple and they've been like, sir, that's for children. I'd be like, I'm a child. <laughs> yeah, did children at heart count? Oh, yeah, Paul says I went to a Toys R Us this year. They still had them when I was in Okinawa. Yeah, they're still in uh, They're still in other countries. Like, I think Canada still has Toys R Us. They have them in China. Mm -hmm. We saw a Toys R Us in China when we were there in 2019. And then, I, you know, Japan still has them. Was that Beijing? Nope, that was Shanghai we were in. I don't remember where we were, to be honest. They had nice bathrooms. <laughs> the Chinese Toys R Us? Yeah. I'm glad that that's a strong memory for you. We three hundred bits. Listen, there were some not good bathrooms. That's true. That's true. There were three hundred bits from Cosmic Sorrel says. So who else wouldn't pronounce chocolate milk correctly? I loved getting chocolate nook at the dock. Dock and donuts. Dock. Oh. I I was not getting Dunkin' Donuts out of that. Dock dock and do dots as a toddler. <laughs> I love that. Well, actually, so that's the only time I ever drank milk as a kid. Was when you went to Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, that is, that's true. The only time, and I never, I never really got chocolate milk there. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe I did occasionally, but like, um, I recall going. We, me and my parents would go to the Dunkin' Donuts, and they had the little. Is it a pint? Is that how much it is? Yeah, that's a, a pint of of uh, of milk of white mm -hmm. milk in the little container that you opened, and I would get that with my with my donut. And then I remember like getting old enough to eat two donuts. And I've never advanced past that. Cause like when you're a, when you're really little, you can't eat more than one donut. Mm -hmm. And eventually you can eat two donuts at once. But then as you get older, you're like, oh God, I should not eat more than two donuts at once. I still do sometimes. Irling gifted a sub to I love chalky milk. Yeah, Haley says at school they basically force fed us milk because we were convinced it was healthy. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. We would have like 10 a.m. milk breaks. They'd bring a bunch of cartons around and you would buy them for like 30 cents. Yeah, I never, 
had milk at school. Mm -hmm. That was not a thing mm -hmm. for me. The, I, there were other kids that did. Like the, the school offered milk, like you could get it, but it wasn't a requirement. Um, so we didn't, I, I personally didn't drink milk at school. So I remember people having it, but I didn't do that. I actually, what did I drink? Tea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I bet you anything that for lunch every day, I probably just had sweet tea. Yeah. Which is probably worse than milk. Um, but it, it was South Carolina and that was the lifeblood of um, everyone. Mm -hmm. So we just, we just drank, we just drank sugar tea. <laughs> Brandon, you think chocolate milk has sugar? <laughs> oh my God, Brandon. Brandon doesn't know anything. Brand, like, Brandon wouldn't know what hit him. Someone has a car. It's not our car. Hopefully it's not our car. Probably not our car. Um, <laughs> I had to make sweet tea. It's also bad and gross. Sweet sweet tea can be fine. It's not for no sugar. Sweet tea can be fine. I've had I've had sweet tea before. Um, at, I think the the worst sweet tea I've ever had in my life is McDonald's. It's always musty. I mean that's part of it, but mm -hmm. also like it's there is so much sugar in that tea. Yeah. Like that's unnecessary. The idea of sweet tea is that it's a it's, it's a super saturated solution. It's it's <laughs> it's tea. Uh -huh. You're drinking black tea, and it's a little sweet. A lot sweet. Well, it depends. It's not supposed to be a lot sweet. Mal is concerned. It can't be our car. Our car is in the garage. <laughs> but that is loud and annoying. <laughs> Can y'all hear that? Y'all probably can't hear that. If I don't talk, you might be able to hear it. God, car alarms are fun. Anyway, um... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up. Let's talk about the things that are happening. Um, so there's a vlog dropping in about 90 seconds. That's cool. Check that out. That's a good one. Um, it's got a lot of good. Sorry, the sound of the car alarm just changed to like over here. Did it drive away? You're laughing, what happened? Can you hear it? It stopped. So there's a trailer, like a, that you put a few cars on? Yeah. And our neighbors. Um, like it's, and then the, it's a van and the van drove off the trailer beeping the whole time and parked at our neighbor's house. Oh. <laughs> And then it was going boop, 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 and then it stopped. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm questioning if, I'm, if I'm still hearing it, like. I don't hear it. No, you're probably good. All right. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Three different squid says that, that car horror reminded me one month after buying my new car, its horn was blaring at 11 p.m. and 1 a.m. due to the extreme cold and bad wiring. Oh no. Those are not times you want the car to do its horn. That sucks. I'm assuming that that's resolved at this point, so. Hopefully. So there's a, uh, there's a vlog dropping, like, any second. Um, that one is the one that, uh, you're in Wisconsin and all of your friends are there. Yeah. Mao actually did provide a little context in the vlog. I was wrong. I was wrong. I don't know how many other vlogs have context. I'm pretty sure a lot of them have none. I know the next one that I'm editing doesn't because I have it in the timeline. I'm like, oh, but this one does. Um, and it, it shows off some friends, which is nice. And uh, so that's coming out. And then tonight at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern, um, Mal and I will be on her stream to do uh, We're painting. We're going to paint the Sculpey. Yeah, I'm going to paint Kirby. It's going to be great. Looking forward to it. And then, of course, uh, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night at 8 p.m., join uh, join us for Tears of the Kingdom. 
as we continue to work through that. I don't remember where we we were. We oh, we're in uh, Kikirka Village. We're, yes. we're walking around there, talking to people, talking to folks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's it. I don't have anything else for you. Um, and it, since we have a vlog dropping, instead of uh, doing a dome, I'm going to send you to the vlog instead. It's a good vlog. It's a really, it's a really good one. I think you'll like it. So check that out. And um, yeah, let's let's end with Thunder Shrilk. I hate Thunder Shrilk so much. Yeah. Have a good day. See you tonight for Mouse Stream. <laughs>